There we go. It's Sunday sermon. Um, before I start, I've been uh, I have to wash my hands. Uh, I've been basting a chick. Well, basting. I don't know. I'm not basting. I mean, I've been seasoning the chicken because we're going to do a special. Um, what do you call the grill? South Africa would call it a bry. I actually don't grill. I can grill. I can bry, but I don't. Like when I'm in South Africa, then it's like between my my, my and my wife. They they just like to bry. South Africans they just bry, which is for you is grilling, right? So even though I can anyway, I help prepare, but they they do the grilling and all that stuff like that. And here, my um, uh, my brother, you know, my uh, my wife's husband, he's a he's a he's a grill master. You know, we're in the south. A lot of dudes, they'd be, you know, they'd be doing, you know, you can't do, you, you try to do something, you, I, nah, they won't let you, you know. But anyway, this is a new thing because he's got this thing. I never heard of it, but, you know, it's the South. They do these kind of things. So you take a beer, you know, regular beer. This is a, some some beer from somebody. Oh, Pennsylvania beer. It's a Pennsylvania beer. Take a beer, right? Open it up. You take a chicken. You do whatever you do. I, I put, what did I put in my thing? I put, the. Uh, uh, I put turmeric and every turmeric and pepper and some salt and and uh, olive oil and uh, rubbed it on the thing. Put some I don't know parsley, some some stuff on there like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up, right? We're gonna take the chicken, the whole chicken, right, and stick the this up the chicken all through the chicken. So this part goes into the chicken. A little little bit will be sticking out, right, with the legs down here, and that's how you'll you'll bry. I mean, um, you'll grill it. If you put that on the grill just like that. Well, we'll see how this turns out, you know? I don't know. But um but this is Sunday sermon. This this has nothing to do with what we're doing right now. Um uh so uh I'm gonna go to this one right here. It's kinda interesting. I know the whole slap heard around the world. We I don't know. Hey, if you um by the way, we, we sorry, let me start proper. We're reading uh from the United Every Sunday we do this. Reading from the United Independent Comp Compensatory Co-System Concept book. It's a it's a book. A comp it's a comp compensatory counter racist code. Um, this is the uh, 2016 edition from Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. And uh, it's this is expanded in, in, in the uh, revised and expanded edition. It's it basically it's it's a workbook. It's a textbook workbook for thought, speech, and or action. Right for victims of racism, which Mr. Neely. Fuller Jr. defines as um, white supremacy. So this is a book we read out of. And uh, and he, uh, uh, luckily for us, Mr. Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. is like 92 years old, you know what I mean? And he, he's on he's on all kinds of radio programs, you know, which is good. He says, hey, the COVID, well, anyway, he's on he's on programs. Um, and he does a, 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 a I don't want to call it, but he does a, a transmission every Tuesday. Uh, I think for Eastern Standard Time is like 9 to 11, something like that. I never catch it then. I like I I get it off the internet and then every Sunday when I do my morning walk it was like two hours and my morning walk is like two three whatever hours and so I put it on and so I listen to that and then later on in the day which is right now then I read something from it right so anyway uh, but but if you want to do two do, do a segment on the on the whole Oscar kerfuffle or whatever you I guess it's more kerfuffle um, and also he talked about reparations so if you well, I know Mr. Neely Fuller Jr.'s uh, take on it. Go to him. Okay. Uh, um, so this is going to be a, a little lengthy reading. This is a uh, we're on page uh, forty three of the of the revised edition, uh, the the nineteen eighty four edition. I have but it's in South Africa. When I get back there, I guess we'll use that. And we're on the area four of the nine areas of uh, of uh, human activity, as Mr. Uh, Neely Fuller would say. And it, the areas are in alphabetical order. There's uh, economics, education, entertainment, uh, labor, law, politics, which is defined as people, relationships, uh, religion, sex, and war, counter war. So we're uh, doing labor right now, page four and 143. Uh, and at the bottom, and we're going to go to page 144. Sorry. Uh, but of course, I better use my glasses. Otherwise, you know, I don't know otherwise. It's a lot easier, I suppose. Okay. And he's, he's, uh, he has it like this. He has these bold letters like this. It's a workbook. You have bold, bold letters like that. Always have your highlighter just in case you come across something you want to highlight. And then we're going to read that. And we're going to go down here, read this. I don't know if you can see it. And then we're going to read up to the suggestions from this section here. Okay. So here we go. White supremacy, 
race, oh, I'm sorry, white supremacists, or here's in brackets, racists, make it their business to train their victims, that would be non-white people, okay? To react to every situation in a manner that causes their victims to do more harm to themselves than they do to the system of white supremacy, which is racism. I want to repeat that. This is good. Oh, man, I got so many thoughts now. I think I might have to talk about this slap. White supremacists, that's, that's racist, right? Make it their business to train their victims, right? That would be non-white people. To react to every situation in a manner that causes their victims, right? To do more harm to themselves, victims do more harm to themselves, right? Than they do to the system of white supremacy, which is racism. But then he, then he has an explanation there. A skilled white supremacist takes great pride in his or her ability to predict with general precision what it is that non-white that uh, that a non-white person right would do will do will do sorry keep on throwing these little zingers in here uh, or say and will not do or say in most or all situations okay so this is a skill white supremacist okay a skilled white supremacist usually knows exactly what a non-white person is thinking about. Mm -hmm. They usually know what to do or to say to a uh, uh, to a non-white person or about a non-white person that um, the things that will uh, uh, furiously oh, oh ferociously. Ferociously. Oh, Ooh, let me read that again. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. They usually know what to do or say to uh, to make a non-white person be calm, be sad, be happy, or to be furiously, ferociously angry. It's ferociously, furiously, ferociously. Whatever. All of these reactions are designed. Uh, to be for the benefit of the system of white supremacy, which is racism. Okay, now let me go. Well, okay. The white supremacists make a precise study of a non white person's strengths and weaknesses, right? They usually make sure that they know more about that non white person than that non-white person will ever know about them. That would be the uh, white supremacist or racist, right? The white supremacists are usually the masters in the science of getting a non-white person to talk about his or her personal feelings in regards to any or all topics in all the nine areas of people activity. They are usually the masters of getting uh, non-white people to do things out of emotion rather than the use of logic. And then lastly, he has uh, five suggestions in this section of uh, 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 labor. It's, uh, this is under labor. <coughs> and by the way, what, I, what, 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 what the way I do this is, uh, this is my, this, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr.'s book, this book, the, the, the cold book. Uh, compensatory. Uh, this is my scripture. Don't get me wrong. I have this other scriptures that, that exist. Look, every morning I read, I read from the from 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 the Gullah Bible. You know, the New Testament. This is scripture. You know, as as uh, the well, this is King James scripture that's that's interpreted by um by the Gullah Gullah culture. I'm a descent. So I read that every morning. But every Sunday I get into scripture. <laughs> Sorry. Suggestions. Okay. Stop being on automatic in support of the system of uh, uh, supremacy, which is white supremacy, which is racist. Stop being on automatic. Okay. Two, be a keen observer of what others are doing and saying. 
listen to others, but always try to say no more than is necessary. Number three, when speaking, always do your best to put everything you say in the form of the question, of a question. Make a record of the answers you receive. Be calm. Take notes. Never, ex uh, never express anger or use profanity towards others. It's the code. Always, always, always think, think, and think again before speaking, writing, and or acting. Always think, 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 <laughs> think, 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 think again <laughs> before speaking, writing, and or acting. Well, look, I guess it's self-explanatory, but, but but the thing really is, no matter how, look, there's this thing that somebody, uh, oh, Marcus, because I, I listened to uh, uh, Corey Hogan, 5150, and Mark's part of 5150. He has his own little thing he does on Instagram and I guess YouTube. And he has his name because he read Will's book. I didn't read Will's book. Um, and, you know, and he says, man, <laughs> it's a mess. The book, book, the boy done said it in the book. You know what I mean? But for him to do what? what, what so I won't get any more. So that's Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. Um, one of the things he did bring up is that, or, or somebody brought up, yeah, he brought up, there's a lot of people going to say, be on code, be on code. But that he never, that's not his term, but he says, everybody says it. I don't know. But when they say be on code, I don't know. People are not on code. They'll say that. You know, but then they'll do things like he said, like they said, you know, think, think, think again before you say something, right? Well, a lot of people that said they're on code, they need they, not be thinking <laughs> before they say it, right? <laughs> and there's a whole other thing. We'll, we'll get into, we'll, uh, as these series go on, we'll, we'll reveal more what, um, what what the situation is. But uh, clearly, uh, well, anyway, that's, that's the sermon from this Saturday uh, brought to you by, by me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet. Letting you know, well, I only suspect that Mr. Neely Fuller um, imparts to us constantly and forever. Be well.